So good morning, my name is Kristen Brady, and today I want to show you how to check an egg to make sure it's good to eat. So I grew up on a meat, bird, poultry farm. Um, if anyone doesn't know, we call them broilers. Um, basically, there's a difference in chicken, so we have your layers and then we have your broilers. Um, broilers are just, like I said, meat birds, um, that's what we eat. Um, and then we started a homestead at our house or um, just laying chickens, so we eat the eggs, and then later we'll kill them, eat the chickens, all of that. So I know that we've all been cooking something up, and then you got everything in your pan, it looks all good, then you crack an egg in there, and you ruin your whole entire pan, and you're just so upset. So you have your egg, and depending on how you will place it in the jar of water that you have, um, if it sits flat like this on the bottom of your jar, that means your egg is fresh. So it would either be laying like yesterday or today. Um, so the egg has a pointy side on it and then kind of your flatter side. Um, every egg has a air pocket in it, which is typically on the bigger side. Um, the air pocket, if it's a older egg, will actually consume like your yolk and that's what makes it disgusting. It'll start stinking and all of that. So when you place it in the water, a good egg will, I don't know if you can see that, but a good egg will float and the air pocket will actually come out of the water and that means you're good to go. You could eat it, it won't stink and it'll be fine. A bad egg will sink to the bottom because the air pocket has consumed the whole thing and weighted it down. So that's when you will crack it in your pan and it either will have a blood spot in it from the chickens being old or meat spots, depending on what kind of chickens you have. So I always, well, any country southern person will always check their eggs before you crack it in the pan because nothing's worse than cracking it and you have a little bird laid in your pan. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so we were making omelets the other day and my grandma was cooking and I brought eggs over and she cracked it open and there's a bird laying in the pan. <laughs> so I would always check your water or check your eggs before you cook anything to make sure you don't. Now grocery store eggs, um, they actually have to go through a process where they check all of their stuff before they send them out into cartons. So um, anytime you're getting a homegrown egg, then I would definitely check them. So um, like I said, bad eggs will sink in your water, good eggs will float, and anytime if you want to check just how old your eggs are, like I said, if it lays flat, then it's either today or yesterday. Um, anytime the egg will raise up in the water like this, it's at least a week or two old. And then if it kind of floats like in the middle of your jar or cup, whatever you put it in, then you're on the verge. Um, you'll see some spotting in your yolk. Um, it will be brown or red, depending. Um, it's still good to eat, but I just wouldn't smell your cooking because it's not going to be good. <laughs> so hopefully um, you know how to check an egg now and you'll be fine and not have little birds floating around in your omelets. <laughs> <laughs>